Tonight, growing tension between a congressman and the Catholic Church. The Providence Bishop has asked Representative Patrick Kennedy not to take communion. It escalates a war of words between the two men. Most recently, they've squared off over abortion. The story is new tonight. Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrano with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. If Representative Patrick Kennedy comes to this church or any other church in Rhode Island, the bishop says he shouldn't receive communion. Bishop Thomas Tobin says it would be inappropriate because of Kennedy's public stance on issues like abortion. Providence Bishop Thomas Tobin says he asked Representative Patrick Kennedy in a 2007 letter to stop receiving communion because of his stance on moral issues. The revelation comes after a story published Sunday in the Providence Journal where Kennedy says Tobin told him not to take communion and he is, quote, not a good practicing Catholic because of the positions that I've taken as a public official. The two men have recently butted heads on the issue of abortion. And while Kennedy would not say if he's following Tobin's order, the faithful here at St. Peter and Paul in Providence didn't hold back. Well, he has a choice, uh, and he's a personal friend of mine. He has a choice to uh, leave the church. In our Catholic faith, we're pro-life, and that's bottom line. Kennedy goes on to tell the paper Tobin ordered diocesan priests not to give him communion. In his statement, Tobin says he never ordered his priests not to give the sacrament to Kennedy. Quote, I am disappointed the congressman would make public my request of nearly three years ago that sought to provide solely for his spiritual well-being. The two men have feuded since Kennedy criticized Catholic leaders last month for threatening to oppose health care reform unless it included tighter restrictions on abortion. Kennedy's office did not respond to emails or phone calls for comment. As for Bishop Tobin, he says he's praying for Kennedy and wishes him well. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DiPrano, Eyewitness News.